I remember your purple and blue coats translating to the ring around your throat. 20 years of pain carved by a choke. My fingertips tracing every solitary year. I remember wondering if they will ever heal. When will be your next home cooked meal? If suicide is for fruits, then where is your peel? Cause inside of every orange is veins and juices flowing no purpose and uses. Your shell was always hard and cold anyway, leaving your sentiments wherever you went. I remember your mouth taking on new shapes. Your arms trickle down with tubes, ties, and tapes. Unable to breathe in on your own. Mom, can't we just take him home? We ran to your room every day. Stop. Security. Long-term stay. Faison, yes, 14. Thank you. Have a nice day. How long is 120 hours sober? A lifetime for those struggling a blink of an eye when the fight is over. I remember the thousands of miles we all drove for you. So many people wanted to be consoling you. So many ears that knew what they were supposed to do. And so many guilty hearts wishing they had told the truth. Night by night, pastor by your side. Excuse me, Mrs. Faison. It's time to say goodbye. I remember my untold hate before your dying week. Prepare. I said prepare to practice what you preach. You made this girl, teenage girl, a broken picture frame. And at the exact moment that I cursed your name, you were gone. I remember the phone call, the ambulance, the open cell of the cannabis, the frightened children, your crying girlfriend, dying mother, and your family that you were leaving behind. I remember the last 480 seconds of your life, 8.22 p.m. Little did we know this would be your last. The 18th century, century apothecary fast, gulp, gag, and gasp. Is he breathing on his own? Oh, no, that was gas. And the cool blue color tickling your fingers while the frost of your skin still lingers as we stand in awe. Muted operatic singers. I remember the church doors opening and your childhood friends grabbing poles. I remember the faces of people crying in the silence as they rose. Next breaking, you standing on toes, eyes penetrating me. I think they all know. I remember the eulogy, the speeches, the words I wrote, my screeches. Keep your voice together, Nick. What death truly unleashes. The drive to river head in pieces, connected by funeral leashes. Life unified by blinkage. Hordes beeping for those deceased. Even the planned birth wouldn't explain your planned death. I remember the aftermath. The wrecked home, the wrecked family, changing schools, changing analogies. Morning glories, God, are you with me? Depressed siblings and coping parents. And the empty cellar gone barren. We are the Osbournes without Sharon. <laughs> Sleepless nights and comforting dreams. Dreams, dreams, you were always there, tucking me in with words of despair, connecting your family in more ways than one. We buried you. You raised us. I remember my brother. I just hope he remembers me. Mm -hmm.